Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be talking about break-even point analysis. So let's dive in. In this factory we are spending a lot of our resources such as labor hour, raw material, equipment capacity, and capital investment with the hope of creating products that will be sold so we could benefit from them. When any factory is working, there might be three possible situations. If we translate all of our resources into monetary terms, we would call them expenses. So if our expenses are more than what we are earning from the business, we will be at a loss. If we are more lucky, we might be in the situation that our revenue or the amount that we were able to sell is more than our expenses, we will be in profit, as in we are making more money. However, there is a special case that our expenses are exactly equal to our revenue. And in engineering economy, we call that part, or we call that special situation, break-even. In break-even point, the expenses and revenues are exactly the same. So let's look at the formula of break-even point analysis. It's very simple. Expenses equals revenue. So let's simplify these terms a little bit more. So we can call expenses we can divide expenses in two parts, fixed cost and total variable cost. And the revenue is basically our sales. If we drill down on the variable cost and the sales, we will, be, we will see that the fixed cost plus variable cost multiplied by the number of sales should be equal to the price multiplied by, num by the number of sales. The advantage of the last formula is the fact that we can decide on the number of sales based on the price that is given to us. So let's look at an example. Suppose that your fixed cost for producing widgets are $30,000 a year. Your variable costs are 2.2 for materials four dollars for labor and 0.8 dollars overhead for each widget assume that we have studied that market elasticity will let us put the price at 12 dollars what is the number of widgets that have to be sold at this selling price before your business will start to make a profit i recommend before continuing to watch the rest of this video, challenge yourself, pause here and challenge yourself by trying to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and do it together. I'm hoping that by now you've already given yourself a chance to solve this problem. So here, we have two types of costs. The, the, the problem is telling us the fixed cost for producing widgets are $30,000 a year. So I'm going to mark this part and say my expenses, my expenses are of two parts. One is the fixed cost, fixed cost that the, the the problem is giving me, which is $30,000 a year. And also I have variable cost. Variable cost for each widget. So 
So I have those variable costs from here. 2.2 materials, $4 labor, and 0.4. And what I will do for each widget, I will add these up. And it would give me around seven dollars for each widget. And also, we know we know that um, the price that we can sell our widgets is at twelve dollars so we put all the information necessary information from the problem down but the question remains what is the number of widgets that have to be sold at this selling price before your business will start to make a profit so we want to know in this one year how many widgets will need to sell to have the break-even point so we know that expenses should be equal to revenue because we are looking for break-even point analysis break-even point so our expenses are fixed cost plus variable cost multiplied by the, the the amount of sales and I'm going to call that Q here let's call it quantity is equal to the price multiplied by the quantity so in this equation I have everything but Q so let me plug them in so the fixed cost is 30,000 plus variable cost which is seven dollars multiplied by the quantity which is um, unknown so I'm going to keep it as unknown 12 multiplied by Q so by simplifying this equation I will know if 5 multi 5 multiplied by Q is equal to 30,000 that's when the break-even point happens so by, by simplifying this Q will have to be let me calculate this here real quick 30,000 over 5 it will be 6,000 so this number means if I sold 6,000 widgets in this year I'm neither at profit or loss and that's the break-even point I hope you learned from this video